ladies and gentlemen, check it out. We, uh, I, f I forgot to hit record, but this is literally turn one right here of this match. This is literally turns. The first thing that happened is to on Dynamax. I went for a light screen. My Corviknight, oh, he's going for Reflect, and my Corviknight is going for a bulk up. That's literally all that you missed, okay? Obviously, you missed the beginning of me picking my team against his team, but it doesn't matter because I suck anyway. And my Grimstar is living that, baby. Light screen. I'm, well, it actually is Matt Steel Spike. Is that actually a physical attack move? I'm pretty sure most or maybe all the Dynamax are actually special. Sorry I started the recording late. I actually like was I was um, talking and then I was like, let me check my audio levels. I did this, looked over, and I was like, oh wait, I'm not even recording. So that's a yikes in the chat. So Corviknight is now pretty set up. What I'm gonna do here is instead of going for reflect, I'm actually just going to Thunder Wave the Duraludon. Hoping it's full parried. And then I'm gonna do another bulk up. Yeah, I want to get two bulk ups, and then I can actually just Dynamax my Corviknight is going to be the play. So, let's just do that. Let's just do that play right there. So, he's going to go for a light screen, as I, you know, as I kind of expected him to, which is fine. Hopefully, my Thunder Wave lands here. It does land. Now, if we can get a full pair on this Duraludon, that would actually be a sick turn. Another thing I mentioned in the intro is I'm just going to hope that I don't lose today, because I lost both games last week, and it was rough. But that's okay. Corviknight's going to go for another bulk up. And he does not get full paired. So Grimstar is now out of here. That is okay, though, because my Corviknight is double bulked up. Double thick boy looking boy. Now, the only problem is, is he still has a Grimstar. And I really hope his Grimstar does not have Thunder Wave. And these guys are these guys are getting defense boosted hard. So what I'm going to do here is I believe the play should be to go to Gastrodon. The play should probably go to Gastrodon because I can't trick with Rotom. He, you, Duraludon's probably already choice scarfed anyway. So the play's probably to go to Gastrodon and then Earth Power to Duraludaddy. And then Iron Head, the Grim Snarl. But we're going to Dynamax our Corviknight. That way we can... Ah, uh, see, here's the thing. This Grim Snarl's still not going to go down because he has Reflect and he's double Steel Spike boosted. So we're just going to go for the Earth Power anyway on the Duraludon. Hopefully he gets full Parrot on, on him. And then we can max Steel Spike into this Grim Snarl. He's for sure going to live. I mean, he has a Reflect. He has two defense boosts. I am double attack boosted, though, on Corviknight because of the bulk up. Dude, I got to take out this, like, headset situation. For some reason, when I play on the Switch now, just gets... It's just staticky in my ear the whole time. It's really crazy. I don't know why, but... And then when I'm just talking like this without a headset, it is... It's a yikes. So, that just is what it is. But let's go ahead. Let's see what we can do here. Corviknight is Dynamax. We're going to get that first turn. So he is not. He's just probably going for a play rough. Then. Oh, Grimstar still goes down. Holy crap. That's good, though, that he didn't have a Thunder Wave move. Because I went before. Oh, I got a crit. Dude, that crit 100% mattered. I don't care what anyone says. This doesn't crit mean, like, make it so I ignore his defense boost. That has to be. Dude, that crit definitely mattered. He does get the max lightning off on Corviknight. I'm going to live that. Big time going to live that. That's actually very nice. So, yeah, light screen on my side of the field definitely helped out. And then, now he's going to be out of Dynamax, and I still have two more turns of Dynamax. So, we're we're in a good spot right now. I mean, our... Yeah, we just did a quarter damage while he was... Oh, wait, duh. Earlier I was saying... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he has weakness policy. Okay, not good. Not good. I thought he had leftovers. He does not have leftovers. I have leftovers, though, but he has weakness policy. I forgot that... that I'm going to be honest, I forgot that was even a thing. So... Not good. Not good at all. He's going to bring out the Gengar. I feel like I need to take out this Gengar because I know Gengar can learn is a Thunderbolt and he's going to be quick. So let me go ahead and just show you this since you guys missed the beginning. This was the team options that you guys could have saw that uh, I forgot to show you because I forgot to hit record because I'm stupid. But that's okay, right? So we're going to Earth Power this Duraludon here. And then what do we do? Do we go for... Do I want my defense to be raised? I kind of just want my speed to be raised on this team. But also speed still, I don't think, is going to help me. I'm just going to go for the max air stream anyway because it does more damage. And it'll raise my speed. Plus, both these guys are special attackers. So actually, yeah, Steel Spike would do nothing for me. Yeah, he does have the Thunderbolt, which I was just scared of. Uh, they're going to be double up into the Corviknight slot. Honestly, I, maybe I should have just max guarded because those. it's obvious that they're going to be going for the double up into that slot. And he has the Focus Ash Gengar. So maybe that's what I'll do next turn. I'll max guard Corviknight. And then... Ah, oh, but I don't want to max guard. I really just want to keep raising my speed. Yeah, he's doubling up. He hasn't been paralyzed one time, which is very annoying. Earth power. Let's see if this knocks him out or not. Let's see what this does. 
It does knock him out. Okay, so he's down to Gengar on 1 HP and his final Mon now. So let's see what his final Mon is to see what I'm going to do. Because see, here's the thing. Gengar is a fast boy is the problem. He's definitely going to be out. I, see, that's the thing. I feel like he's still going to outspeed me, even though I have a max airstream boost. Ooh, I... Man. I think the play here is going to go for the max guard on... Corviknight, and then just take out this Gengar, right? So, Earth Power, doesn't matter, right? Oh, he has, does he have Levitate Earth? I don't think Gengar has Levitate anymore, but just in case he does, I'm going to Ice Beam, just in case there's something I don't know about. And I'm going to Max Guard so Corviknight will for sure live against this Thunderbolt, because I feel like that's what he has to do, because he's going to be outspeeding me still. I'm pretty confident in that. And then that should be good because now Gengar's going to get taken out. Yeah, Thunderbolt into that slot. Dra or, ooh, Rillaboom, actually. I just realized he can use a grass move. Crap, I just realized he can hit Gastrodon hard here. Gastrodon, you got to live this, bub. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Gastrodon. Holy crap, clutch. Huge clutch, boys. I mean, I have Rotom in the back, which Rotom is quick, and I'm Choice Scarf, but that still would have been scary. That would have been scary because Gengar is really fast. I don't know about Rillaboom. Whew. Okay. Gastrodon just clutched us up that game. Guys, I told you we're not losing again this week, okay? Last week we lost. That's on me. This time, I got a FaceTime coming in. That's okay. Now we're just going to go for the Ice Beam. And now he has to decide who does he want to knock out. He should go for the knockout on Corviknight. But I don't know if he even can. I don't know if he even has anything to knock out Corviknight. But Corviknight is double bulked up. Oh, he has superpower. Okay, so... Good call on him. Not quite going to do it. That bulk up really is clutch, dude. Holy crap. But now I got the Ice Beam and Brave Bird coming in. That's going to be a GG on this. Bang, bang. That should just knock him out. So there we go, guys. Sorry I cut out the beginning. But honestly, you probably like that I cut out the beginning. Because it's always boring. So thank you guys for stopping by today's video. Guys, this week officially, the Pokemon Challenger League is going to be starting. So I'm going to be, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be live streaming my battles against the challengers. I don't know if I'm going to be live streaming or recording them, but you guys will see it here on the channel. They'll, they'll, they'll start be pumping out because the week is now officially over. Um, Like the week of preparation is now over. So that is it for this. And thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see you later.